In my recent video, Wolf Man, I told you about seeing a mysterious hooded figure in the company of two gray wolves in the open field behind my house. Since that time, I've watched the field every night after midnight, looking for this ghastly trio, this ghastly trio, but they have never returned. Oh, I've seen ghostly figures, dozens of them, gambling across the snow, jackrabbits, jackrabbits all clad in their winter white fur coats. We seem to have a bumper crop of the critters this long, cold winter, and they seem to be at their most active during the hours of darkness. <laughs> kind of like me. I was standing at my kitchen window in the wee small hours, watching the rabbits at play, when I began to realize they weren't rabbits. They, they, they were wolves. And there was a woman with them. At first, I wasn't sure exactly what I was looking at. It looked like a blonde woman in a white nightgown, barefoot, running through the snow. Running through the snow in minus 26 Celsius or minus 15 Fahrenheit weather. I wondered if I'd had too much black coffee. I grabbed my binoculars from their nearby shelf and focused on the nocturnal visitors. The animals were definitely wolves. Not jackrabbits, but wolves. Huge albino wolves with glowing red eyes. I shifted my attention to the woman, and, and, and I think my heart stopped. She was tall and slim, and very, very blonde. Her, her skin is white as the snow. As white as the snow, or death. She was barefoot and seemed to glide across the snowdrifts, wearing a diaphanous see-through negligee. And she was lovely. Lovely. Perhaps the loveliest woman I had ever seen. And as I stared at her, she seemed to stare back, her eyes also red and glowing. And she opened her mouth, her lips full, ripe and scarlet. And she smiled at me, smiled back at me. And as I watched, transfixed, she seemed to lift up off the ground and began to float towards me, getting closer and closer, now in the yard, now staring in at me through the kitchen window. And then, and then, and then, and then. And then I came to and found myself sitting in my usual chair at the dining room table while my laptop blared an ad regarding toenail fungus. It took me a minute to come to my senses, but then I started. Where was the woman in white? Where, where was she? Was she in the house? I got up and went into the kitchen. Nothing and no one there. I looked out the kitchen window with the same result. There was nothing and no one out in the snowy field. Not even the ubiquitous jackrabbits. I took this as my cue to really go to bed. It was uh, 3.34 a.m. to really go to bed where I fell into a dreamless sleep. In the morning, Dr. Curious teased me for dreaming about strange women. But I don't know. I don't know it was a dream. When I was a kid, I came across a werewolf yarn in Bernhardt, Bernhardt J. Herwood's paperback collection, Monsters Galore. The story was called The Werewolf from the Phantom Ship 
a novel by someone called Captain Marriott or Frederick Marriott. The stories in the book were way above my reading level, but I worked my way through them. Slow torture. And The Werewolf was the story that stayed with me. The story told of a widower who marries a mysterious blonde woman who appears out of a snowstorm in the haunted Hearts Mountains and who is, in reality, a white werewolf. The widower has three children. The story does not end well. Years later, I saw a Weird Tales magazine cover by the immortal pulp artist Margaret Bundage showing a naked blonde in company with a wolf pack an apparent illustration for a story called The Thing in the Fog by Seabury Quinn. Someday I'm going to read that story. And someday I'm going to read The Phantom Ship. But remaining in the present, what did I see, dear listeners? Was it a female lycanthrope in the field with her lupine escort? Did she see me and come to me? Or was it all a dream? Or a hallucination? You can see things when you're tired. And if you're up in the middle of the night, like I am, do you think you just might be a little tired? Please share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Dream, hallucination, or she-wolf. And stay safe, stay subscribed, ring the bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and feel free to share this video with anyone you please. If this is your first visit to my channel, please consider subscribing. My name is Warren, and I write and tell original ghost stories and original horror stories featuring such cryptids as the night floaters, werewolves, and the black-eyed children. So again, please consider subscribing. Please help me to reach my goal of 2,500 subs in 2022. Till midnight. Cheers. Pictures used in today's video, courtesy of Pix here, that's PX here, while the music was the incredibly atmospheric and creepy Living in the Dark by the wonderfully talented Mayu.